Fire Department, where is your emergency? When you place the call to 911, it goes to a central emergency call center, uh, at which time you'll be asked by a call taker whether you require police, fire, or ambulance. Fire Department, where is your emergency? Of course, automatically you want to look at a med medical emergency, a crime and fire in, in progress, anything along those lines. Um, more importantly, any other life-threatening situation is something that you want to have a look at. Uh, is anyone else in the residence with you? Okay, what I need to advise you to do, Don, is get everyone out of the residence. Fire Department is on the way. Um, one of the most important things, write your address, uh, telephone number in large print near your phone, which is especially helpful for babysitters or caregivers. Make sure uh, your address is clearly visible on the exterior as well. So that's meaning uh, a lot of times you'll see illuminated street numbers. Um, you'll see various different ways of expressing uh, your address, which is really important because uh, that's the first thing that responders look for. Um, knowing your location would refer to um, the address uh, at which the incident is taking place. What you want to remember when you're dialing 911, especially from a cell phone, is the fact that the information that's coming in is the billing address, not necessarily the location of your call. Um, more, more importantly, uh, because with cell phone use, you know how many times that you're traveling anywhere. Do you exactly know where you are if you needed help? If your car, especially as we approach winter, if your car went in the ditch, how would you get help to yourself? Don't automatically think that the information that's coming in on that cell phone is going to uh, advise us of your location. And one of the other tips that we uh, like to talk about is teaching your children uh, the use of 911, how and when to dial 911. And then most importantly, one of the things to be aware of especially is um, electrical phones, the handheld handsets. When there is no electricity, those phones don't work. So always bear that in mind. You should always have uh, a landline, a residential phone uh, that's connected other than uh, electrically. the most important thing to bear in mind. If you uh, have incorrectly used 911 and you hang up, as I mentioned earlier, you have all three agencies going uh, to your location to provide you with assistance when in fact you don't need it at all and that could certainly impact on a greater emergency if those resources are tied up.